Hi everyone! Oh my god, that last 3D French video that I did um, was so popular. Um, thank you everybody for watching it. So we've done it again. Not 10 nails. That was just that stupid people do things like that. Stupid people do 10 3D French nails for their evening client. That ain't ever happened again. Um, so today they're only having one on each hand. Um, so I've left in me sculpting the base layers for this set. So I'm doing a thin, thin, thin base layer in clear. Um, I always create my base layer, then I'll take my forms off and I file and make sure my base is perfectly smooth. I just can't do it all on the form because I don't think, um, I, I just, I don't think I'm that, I can't, I'm not that good, I can't do it. Um, so I take the forms off and I file them and I get it really thin, thin as I can and make it perfect. My motto is, would you want to paint a picture on a piece of paper or a sheet of wood chip? And I know what I would prefer, so I always get it as thin as I can and as smooth as possible. Teddy, the iPad is by me. Put that down. Put that down. Ugh. So yeah, I am using my um, forms, which are on the website. Um, you're going to think that I have to say this, which I do, because like I've said, all of the products that I've brought out recently, I've taken all of my kids' savings. So thanks, Teddy, for your savings. The iPad's here. So yeah, so I use their money to invest in stuff. And it had to be right. I'm a sculptor, so I know that these have to work. They are super strong. And they're holographic. Mom? Oh, right. I'm going to come back and talk about this in a minute. I've got to go find the charger. I've got to charge the iPad. The kid cannot function without some sort of screen. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. The iPad is on charge and Teddy is here. Do you want to say hi, Ted? Hi. He's been at school now, so we don't hear much from Teddy anymore. Um, but yeah, we've just got in from school. The iPad's not charged. We can't do all this stuff, but it's it's charging now. And everything's good in the hood, isn't it? Yeah. Mate? Everything's good. Um, so, yeah, I was saying about these um, sculpting forms. They are holographic. They come in rolls of 500 or I do them in a try me pack of 50 for £5. And I ship everywhere in the world. Um, everything that I use, I sell the brushes that I'm using, the file that you'll see later. I'm not going into acrylics or anything like that. I'm just selling the essentials that I use all the time. That said that everything that I want to use, it has to be perfect. So everything is to a standard that I would expect, that what I would want to work with. And I have worked very hard to bring these products out. So again, thank you to everybody who then went and bought my metal file board from the last video. You're going to see it again today. And I spoke about a metal file board and how beneficial it is. There is no flex with metal. And like a foam board, um, you know, a normal file, there is a slight amount of flex in it. So you want them sharp shapes, you want those clean, crisp lines, go for a metal board. So yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna do the base layer on these. I'm gonna file them, you'll get to see that board. And on that nail, on that ring nail with the reverse nail bed, that is the one the 3D French is going to go in. I have loved seeing everybody's pictures. You've been tagging me on Instagram. Um, amazing, amazing. Thank you. If you do any of the other designs, anything, please tag me. I love to see the work. Really do. Right, let's go in and crisp up this shape. It doesn't take ages. Um, I just quickly run over it, make it as smooth and sharp as I can before I go in with my design work. Um, if I'm going to pull back time anywhere else, I'm just not going to make them a cup of tea. I won't talk to them about their holiday. I don't really care. Um, I always do this and I'm probably a little bit mental, probably don't need to do it, but I do. Um, and that's just the way I work. I try to do it other ways. I just can't. Um, but this is, this, this is fine. It doesn't take me long at all. Couple of minutes. Um, I don't tend to need to do this when I'm tipping because you kind of got that shape from the tip, but when I'm sculpting, I have to just quickly sort out my lower arch and pull in and that. Um, but yeah, it, minutes. It doesn't take long at all.
Okay, I've laid down three gel polish colours. One from Premier Gel. I don't know the name of it. But um, this one's Premier Gel. Then the slightly darker one is from Glitter Bells called You're Beautiful. And the last one, which is the darker purple, is called Purple Possum. Um, um, like I discussed in the 3D French video on the other video, um, to do this design, you have to have a rise and fall. So you'll see the rise is where I paint the wall of that nail bed. So I painted up the wall and I pulled the um, gel polish, that's what we're using, gel polish, down the nail bed. I cured it and now I'm going to go over with a clear acrylic, building that wall with the side of my brush, making sure that I've got a wall. I will let that cure and then I'll go in with my metal board and crisp it up and make it super sharp. Then against that super sharp wall, you'll have your next rise so you'll paint up the side of the wall so that's your rise and then you'll fall down the flat part of the nail you could do this in any shape it's just imagination i'm sure once like we all get the hang of it we're going to be seeing loads of different things um so yeah the rise up the wall and down the nail and then you'll get that lovely shadowing effect um I found gel polish was the best to use. Uh, I don't know what anybody else is using. I struggled with acrylic, didn't do that very well. Um, but the gel polish, oh, it's just so satisfying. Um, like I say, the original creator of this design, super, super talented. I did um, put her Instagram link in my last video. Um, I think she needs crediting for that amazing, amazing design. I wish I could think of something like that. It was so clever, um, really effective. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see more of it, and you, you should go and have a look, because it's just beautiful. I will put her Instagram link again in this um, drop down. All links, Glitter Bells, my website, her Instagram, my Instagram, everything will be available in the drop down box. So yeah. Well done. Right, so we've got that rise up the wall and down the nail. Cure it, cap it, making another wall. Once that wall is cured and ready to file, you're gonna file it, make it super crisp, rise up the wall and down the nail. And, and that's pretty much it, pretty much it. Um, I think once you get it, it's it was one of those designs where I looked at it for ages and I was like, I ain't got Aww. the foggiest, I ain't got the foggiest what's going on with this. But once, you know, this way works and this is the way I'm going to do it from now on with gel polish and acrylic. Right, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the design. I'm going to use Purple Rain um, on this nail and all the others, but on the middle finger I'll be using Purple Rain and Unicorn Crush. Both acrylics are from um, Glitter Bells. Again, yeah, I'll put it in the thing, in the drop down, and there is a discount code for that as well. Um, do you know what? I think this is the first video I haven't sworn on. Yay. Could somebody pop me a Blue Peter badge in the post? I think I deserve one. It's because Ted's lay here, just iPadding. So, yeah. Yay me. <laughs> I'm going to get, I don't know. Yeah, Blue Peter badge, we'll start with that for not swearing. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. All that, thank you. Thank you for sharing the last video. If you enjoy it, share it. Please subscribe. Um... Thanks for all the comments I will try and get through and I love them all. I do read every single comment, but I get I get really told off for being on my phone all the time like we all do. Get off your mobile phone, Karen, get off your phone. So but I do read every single comment and try and like and love everybody, but um it's just hard. Mum life gets me and then 
you know, relationship, getting shouted at, all angles. Um, but yeah, please don't think that I'm ignorant. I do appreciate every single comment, thumbs up, subscriber. I really, really, really do. But I'm going to leave you because we're off to the fireworks tonight, Ted, aren't we? Mm. You got your sparkler? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I better go. Shall, we, shall I feed you? Shall I feed you before we go? Uh, mm. Liquid lunch? No. Should we just. No? Not liquid lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Ted, would just, Ted just wants to go for a beer and watch some fireworks. Should we do that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to go do that and I'll let you watch the rest of the video. So, again, thank you all so much. Say thank you, Ted. Okay. Take the muslin out your mouth. You're tired. <laughs> You're tired. You can't go to the fireworks. Take the muslin out your mouth. <laughs> Say thank you to the nice people for listening to us. <laughs> thank you, nice people. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks, guys. Speak to you all again soon. Okay, bye.